I'm going to make some Flode Bowlers. Now, I apologize to the Danish people if I have screwed up that name or mispronounced it, but that's the best way I know how to say it. This is a cookie that is very, very popular in Denmark. Lots of countries around the world have a version of this cookie, but from the research that I did, the Danish invented this in the early 1800s. Originally, it was a cookie it, or a biscuit topped with cream and then chocolate. But over the years, well, actually, the, the name Flodable or means cream buns. So the cream on top of the cookie or the bun. But over the years, the, the, they adapted this recipe and made it marshmallow topping so that it would last longer. So I'm going to make a version of this, not a vanilla marshmallow, but a pistachio. So I have my mixer bowl over a pot of simmering water so that the bottom of the mixing bowl is not sitting on the water, but is above it. To that, I'm going to add three egg whites, one and a quarter cups of sugar, half a cup of water, and then a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And I'm going to keep this over the heat for a few minutes until the sugar begins to dissolve and the mixture becomes like baby's bath water warm. So that takes about three minutes, four minutes. And I'm gonna whisk it so it gets nicely mixed up. This is the base of the marshmallow topping for the Flota Ballers. That's pretty warm. I'm going to take it off the water. I'm going to get rid of this pot of water. And I'm going to get rid of my hot plate. We're now going to transfer this mixture to my mixer. And using the wire whisk, I am now going to put this on a medium, medium high, uh, speed and I'm going to leave it on there for about 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes until it begins to become nice and fluffy and thick and marshmallowy. And we'll add some other ingredients after it gets there. So here we go. So our mixture has been mix mixing between 8 and 10 minutes. Depending upon the day and how warm your mixture was, it'll beat up faster. What we're going to do now is we're going to add some pistachio flavoring. If you don't have pistachio flavoring, you can use almond. And I'm just gonna, I'd say a half a teaspoon. I'm not going to measure. This drips. Okay, there's my pistachio. And I'm gonna add a little green food coloring because it's pistachio. I'll try two drops and see how green it gets. I don't want it green. I want it green. A couple more. It's still very pale. Very pale. I want it a little bit greener. Now, while this is still mixing up, I have a pastry bag fitted with a tip. And I've got a tip that's a decorative edge, but it's a wide tip because I'm going to add nuts to this and I don't want them to get clogged up, so you don't want a really narrow tip. I'm gonna put it in my pitcher so I can fill it. And I also have ready, I'll put this down a little bit more so we can hear me. I also have here, some pistachio shortbread cookies. This is a recipe I've made before and it's on the website. When you roll out the dough, you want to get a one and a half inch round cutter um, and or any size you want. And I just made little rounds, one and a half inch, I baked them. So I have a whole tray of them here and I'm only going to do some. Put that aside for the moment. And I'm going to now add the nuts. That's one third cup of finely chopped pistachios. You can add more if you want.
There we go. Oh, it's so, it's like, look at that. <laughs> it's so marshmallowy. All right, I'm gonna get rid of that. And now I'm going to fill up my bag. I'm not gonna fill it up with all of it. I don't like to have my bag really, really full. I find it hard to pipe with. And this is gonna do, this is gonna fill probably five dozen cookies, 60 cookies. But I'm not gonna make all 60 today. I'm only going to make 12. Put that aside for later on. Take it down. Now we're going to bring our cookies forward. Twist it so the filling is not coming out this end. You want it out this end. And now just make a decorative dome. Make it nice and high. And you can use any tip you want, but remember you have nuts in there, so you don't want to make it too thin. And if you don't want pistachio flavor, you can add chocolate to this, or you could just leave it as vanilla the way it was before I put anything in. That's up to you. That would be the traditional flavor, but I just love pistachio anything. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to take these cookies and we're going to put them in the refrigerator for about 10 or 15 minutes. While the flood of olives are in the refrigerator, I'm going to make the chocolate topping. Uh, I'm making a half recipe because I showed you I'm only making 12 cookies for demo. This is six ounces of semi-sweet chocolate bits. Use a really good chocolate bit, not the cheap ones. And I'm going to add to that one and one half tablespoons of safflower oil or you know something that does no flavor. You don't want to use olive oil or any strong flavored oil. And now I'm going to melt this in a microwave because I think that's one of the fastest ways to melt chocolate. So I'm going to start with dark chocolate. I'm not as afraid as with white chocolate. White chocolate burns very easily. So I'm going to put this in the microwave for one minute and then I'll see if it's ready to mix. It's in the microwave for one minute and it's pretty well melted. I just have to mix it up to make sure I don't have any lumps in it. I like to use a flat uh, knife, butter knife. When you use a spoon or something like that, then you have, it's really hard to clean off a spoon, I think, when, from chocolate. This way, just scrape it off. Now, you have to let this cool for about five to 10 minutes at room temperature. If you start dipping the cookies now, they're gonna fall apart. They're just gonna melt because this chocolate is just way too warm. So five or 10 minutes at room temp and then we'll continue. Our chocolate's been sitting and cooling down a little bit. It's almost to room temperature, it's still a little warm, but we got our floatables and I just hold it upside down. That's why I chose a glass that was kind of tall. Dip them, it gets a little messy on the fingers, but. And then you can top them with some chopped pistachios to let people know what it is. I'll do another one. This, have you ever heard of hi-hat cupcakes? This is a lot like a hi-hat cupcake except as a cookie. What you could do with some of this marshmallow is get pistachio cupcake, vanilla cupcake, chocolate cupcake, pipe that on top and do the same thing by dipping and you've got yourself a really spectacular cupcake. One more. There you go. I'm gonna keep dipping them. And then what you do is just let the chocolate set. You can either put them in the refrigerator or just let them set at room temperature. We'll, we'll take a little bit longer. These are delicious. 